Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. My name is Spange and this is Alpha 9. Good morning as the sun rises here on the arid started planet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, do you remember last episode we were struggling with loot and we had no capacity to move a lot of it? Well, that's going to continue today because I've built something that I don't necessarily need <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, it'll be fine. Uh, I just want to build some kind of platform thing for it to um, for it to park on, though. Eh, I don't know if structural integrity is going to take that. Build it up to that much. Oh, hey drones. Welcome back. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to get very far this time. Two turrets. Night night. Okay, I think I can safely ignore them for the time being. Uh, oh! <laughs> Flew my drone up, little son of a bitch. Turrets, do you want to, um. You know, maybe, um. There you go. Jesus, you take some time to reacquire targets, don't you? Wow. <laughs> okay, I need to do a support beam here. Let's do that there, just to give it some support. Not, it doesn't need to be a very big landing uh, parking bay. It needs to be big enough. That'll probably do, I think. For now, at least, anyway. And I'll probably come up with some way to actually get up there, like an elevator block or something later. But for now, it's just somewhere for this very special lady to park a very special bottom. That's right. The legend is back. Not Mark II, not Mark III, not even Mark IV. Now this is the original, 100% original Nightshade B. <laughs> Obviously updated to Alpha 9. Added a bit of extra little fluff around here and there. Uh, Rejigged her insides a little bit to make it a little bit more, um, I don't know what the word is, better, <laughs> yeah, and I've lifted the thrusters up from one block from down below, so I just thought it looked better, but otherwise, she is 100% the original Nightshade Mark B, updated and available on the workshop, as per the original uh, workshop item, so... We're going to take her out for a spin once I've actually got a way of actually getting up to her. <laughs> yeah. Can we have some elevator blocks, please? <laughs> do I need to unlock them? I think I do, don't I? Under base. Elevator blocks. We're going to need about five or six. Um, something odd going on there. One, two, three, four, five just to be sure to be sure to be sure in the meantime I have another solar panel I want to put up which I suspect is going to go quite well next to one of the existing ones let's get this that's not even the right one is it it's that one yeah there we go There we go. I'm going to expand these uh, truss blocks around to support it. Is that even on the ground? No. There we go, now that's supported. <laughs> it was always supported. I can expand that um, landing bay if I need to. But I don't think I'm going to be here for very long. I'm going to have a quick fly up into orbit once I get this thing and we're going to reveal the map. I'm very slow at the moment. I need some food. Yeah, this is becoming a bit more of an issue of late, really. Um, my food situation is not great. I have enough to sort of survive. <laughs> but... I'm going to have to go out and actually farm 
some wild vegetables soon. I'm all out of veggies. And just surviving on meat. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you know. Uh, do need to top up my oxygen. That's a constructor. That's the O2 station. Did actually get quite a bit of oxygen from those water generators I placed. So, um, I check my logistics. Container 1. You have a few bottles lying around. Also a bit of power as well. And lots and lots of guns from the looting we did in the last episode. Plus armor, which is nice. I might downgrade my armor actually while I'm thinking about it. Because I don't think I need to put on heavy armor for general shenanigans. Only really if I'm going out and about. Um, so let me grab one of the mediums. Because that's my fave. Nice set of medium. We'll put an EVA, a jetpack, and an insulation in there, I think. And there we go. Okay. Just need my elevator blocks, which are ready. Place them there. Get the old drone boy. And very attractively. <laughs> it's not going to win any awards, is it? Uh, there, it serves a purpose, and now we can get up to our nightshade. Ah, beauty. Now, I don't think, did I put a Wi-Fi controller in the nightshade? I did. Amazing. Um, yeah, we've got ammo, so that's what we're going to need. We're going to need some ammo. So, 15 mil, please, Mr. Constructor, sir. What do we want? We've got 100... Output count. Let's have 30. That's 3,000. 3, Good. Uh, we're going to need some fuel. And we're going to need some oxygen, which we have in the base already. I just need to set you to small warehouse controller one and set you to nightshade controller uh, fuel. And then we can fill your fuel up. Bingo. Set you to oxygen. You can fill your oxygen up. Bingo, and then set you to ammo. And as soon as the ammo is ready, we can fill the ammo up. And we will be airborne <laughs> in the classic, the classic nightshade, the original gangster. <laughs> oh dear, right, um, 1300 rounds. I can take some. I don't need this, this uh, connected toolbar anymore, actually. So, I might disconnect that from there. Oh, I forgot I had a multi boost. I should put them and these guys really in the um, armor locker. Might actually change out that insulation for a multi, maybe. Because EVA, I should have all the insulation I need. Well, apart from, from heat, the only drama. But as long as I've got a cockpit nearby, I should be fine. Okay. So how are you doing on that ammo? Are you done with ammo? That's not a good sign. That means something's run out. Steel plates run out of iron. Oh dear. Yep, I run out of iron. <laughs> God damn it. Of all things. Okay, well, um, how much ammo did you get through? Well, not a lot. Not enough to really go out. Why is there five iron ingots in there? Why do you do that? You swine. There's some steel plates there, five iron ingots. But I think we're going to need to go out and get some more iron. We have silicon, cobalt, and copper. Quite a, quite a good chunk of it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to mine an iron deposit. Which is. There's one nearby. I'm also going to keep that. But. Okay. Let's go out and get some iron. And then we'll come back, fill the ammo up. And then we'll go go on a proper explore of this bloody planet and see what's what okay power on don't think there's anything in the spark no we're good we're good um my only drama is food but actually it's a good opportunity to go out and get some isn't it so iron deposit is that way just kind of northeast there's actually plenty of vegetables around my base, I just need to like go out and get them. You know. <laughs> it's 
So I do need to connect to my Spark controller. And then yeah, F5, I've got my T2 drill. So this isn't actually um, that bad anymore, really. Next thing I want to put in my factory is a hover miner, though. But I do need to find a new base location. So I've pretty much killed all the deposits around here. And also, well, there's a lot of things on the list that I need to do. I need a new, I need a hover miner, and then I need some kind of mass mobile storage thing so I can actually loot the big components. But I'll come to that later. Right, I'm going to mine this out, and I'll come back to you guys once I'm back at the base. Got to admit, the color palette of this world is it's pretty nice. Okay, I took the liberty of picking up some vegetables as well. So let's power down. Okay, so should be able to. First of all, let's transfer what we got in the fridge. And then look at that iron, we've got some wood as well while we're at it. Some more iron there. So now you should be able to produce a few more bullets, please. Thank you very much. All right. As soon as that's ready, we'll take off. Okay. Everything's building, so just give it a minute. Let's go check our water generators actually. Now fortunately I think we're just in Wi-Fi range. Oh there's one of those Tallura pod things that uh, if I go near that water generator, he will attack me, so I may as well get him first. Oh, damn! Yeah, he was waiting for that, wasn't he? <laughs> ah, no energy source. All right, we'll have some biofuel. Damn, that's filled me up. Uh, water goes in that one. Uh, if I connect that, actually. There we go. That should go... Oh, it goes into my inventory for some reason. Probably because it's a placeable device and not actually. Um... Oh, shit. <sighs> Mother. Fuck. So annoying. All right, transfer everything over, and then put the fuel in. Wait, oh, let me guess. I pick the fuel up, that goes into my connected, but I pick the water up, it doesn't. <laughs> sure, 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 okay, fine. Meat and milk. What those guys are good for. All right, look at that. Look at that for a sunset. That's pretty nice. But yeah, it happens all too often down here. There's just barely any daylight. There's that much daylight. It's crap. I want to head up north. Up north. And try and get some uh, solar panels. Actually working because these guys... Ah, uh, they're not giving me anything. So... I'm running purely on Promethean at the moment, which is not ideal. Right, you've made some ammo. I hear. Oh, well, you've made some, but where is it all gone? Wait, I've built it in the wrong thing, haven't I? So you're actually in that. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, you shouldn't be in there either. Use the wrong constructor. Okay, nightshade. Ammo. 500 rounds. Small warehouse. Container. Ammo. 1,100 rounds. Uh, I'll, I'll take half of that. And can you make any more, or is that you're out of something again? No, oh, you can make some. We'll make some then. Right. Should we go explore? I think we shall. Oh, wait. Let me heal up first. Heal. And then I want... Let's disconnect our thing. I want those. And I want to eat that. Um, well, I really didn't give me much, did it? What else can you make? You can make a couple of steaks. A couple of salami. I made a couple of steaks and salami. Top up my oxygen. There you go. Eat a steak. 
Fills it up with some. Another steak. Did you make did you not make some vegetable juice for me? I guess not. And the salami. Right, that should do for now. That should keep me alive. Let's see if we can intercept these drones. Alright. Turrets and weapons on, power on. Weapons reloaded. Damn. That one took a beating. The original gangster is airborne again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The nightshade, the boss. Um, I haven't put a Wi Fi controller in the nightshade. Whoops. <laughs> I need to do that. I also haven't put a detector on her either. I might need to do that as well. Yeah, if we're doing exploring, I should probably put a detector on her. Of all things. Um, have I actually unlocked one? Small vessel. Can put rocket launchers on her as well. That'll be sweet. There we go. Um, oh, actually. Let's unlock those rocket launchers. I'm going to quickly pop back and get um, a detector. Then we're going to go exploring. <laughs> we're airborne! I'm going to need to do a connected doobie then. What's it, aren't I? Connected doobie, what's it? Connect me then, boy. Why? Right, where am I going to stick this? <laughs> I could stick it right behind there. There we go. Hey! <laughs> well, it works, doesn't it? Alright, fine. Let's go. I'll make do without a Wi Fi connector for the time. Let's go into space. Reveal our planet. All right, welcome to space, everyone. Isn't that fun? All right, let's get back down. <laughs> why? Why do you? Why do you ask? Why do I do that? Well, you get rid of your fog of war, don't you? It becomes transparent, and then, oh my lord! All right, let's head over to this signal then. Now, if I look at my map, yay! I can see through it. There you go. Look at all these oases and um, lakes and stuff up there. I need to use Shift W. Anyway, I've used Shift W. So that puts my cruise control on now. Even when I'm looking at the map, the nightshade will continue flying. That's pretty cool. Right? That's pretty cool. So we want to head over here. This is our objective for our story mission, which is um, the. Um, Unidentified vessel, the UCH story chapter one. Oh, hello, what's this? Kill some altitude. Oh, hello, cheeky. Now, I remember this place has a lot of glorious loot in it. But you know, this is another one of those things where I'm going to need an absolute metric ass ton of storage in order to loot it. So, um, you know. You fucking what, mate? You fucking what? Oh, hello, cheeky. You turned around quicker than I did. I may have just crash landed. You didn't see that. <laughs> you saw nothing. Right. Yeah, yeah, you need an absolute metric ton of storage to loot that thing because it's another bunch of red containers, which is great. Um, love it. I'm getting lost in um, signals now. Look, at everything's lit, lit up. Everything's lighting up. Um, let's just stick. Oh, we got another. <laughs> we got another one of these bloody helixes as well. Oh, hello, cheeky. There's a lot of stuff here. That's the Titan rear part, isn't it? Okay, we've got an unknown helix, we've got the Titan rear, we've got two POIs as well. Are we in anyone's territory? No. 
This could be interesting then. There's a drone nearby. You can see him on the map. Where is he? There he is. Still getting a good old Alpha 8 lag. And the frame rates dip as I'm flying around. Makes SV flying very um, annoying. So that's the mid part of the Titan. Okay. Makes taking out drones very difficult when you're bleeding cursors jumping all over the shop. Ah, right. Crash Titan front. Here we go, we discovered some um, deposits as well. Promethean, copper, silicon. Another drone up ahead. Alright, it's the Titan. It is showing a lot of weapons fire damage. The weathered hole looks like it has crashed here years or decades ago. Strange. Check the wreckage for more info, but stay alerted. Those who caused this disaster might still be around. Alright. Alert. Scans indicate the Titan is broken in three parts in case they are not close by. Make use of the detector you just found in the wreckage. Find the two remaining parts to retrieve even more. Right, I know um, there are grow plots in here, but again, I'm going to need to come back with something more substantial to take this thing apart. Like a big HV. Um, and actually salvage it for good. So I'm going to leave it as is for now. Just seeing if there is a way in at the top. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of digging involved with this one, I think. I'll um, grab these drone parts though. Nice fuel pack. Uh, find the mid part. Well, we did. We flew over it. So that's easy. So yeah, like I said, this is very similar to the original Robinson Protocol. Mid part is just over here, and the rear part is just below it, just south of it. This part is showing low power positioning signal energy current and container or locker on one end of the wreckage. That'll be right there then, and I'll have night vision in it, I think. Uh, multi boost. Fair enough. Uh, the data pad you found some just strange scratches, which look similar to symbols in the alien tower. We didn't do the alien tower. Someone also wrote the word Xerox Talon Ancient next to it. Uh, there is some more containers in here, though. There's this one. We get a jetpack boost. I could do with a mobility boost. That would be nice. Another jetpack. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> there are some containers underneath as well. And, um,. I'm not sure if there's a core. No core. So I could put a core in it and then loot it through the F4 menu. Which I think I will do at a later time. Again, I mean the nightshade has a bit of storage in it. It's not a huge amount. It's certainly not anything you could loot a POI with. I don't think. Um, let me just check. What was it again? 875. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger than my backpack. Oh, hello, cheeky. Somebody scratched your paintwork. That was that damn drone that managed to turn around before I did. Before I heroically skimmed the ground. <laughs> Alright, find the back part. Unknown structure. Yeah, I think there's loot. There's some loot in there as well. So once we can actually get some decent carrying capacity, I think we'll have a lot of... Oh, hello. Fucking hell. They just come out of nowhere, didn't they? Yeah, the other one in a bit. There is 
because I've got an, an SV, I can literally um, either blow my way through at the top here, or land on the top and use my jetpack to jump down through that hole. Save the ammo. If they haven't moved the location of the logs, of course. Um, no, they haven't. They're still here. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Couldn't carry anything. To the building base. Okay. Uh, you found the ship's log. All your message start. Commander, we cannot wait any longer for the security chief. We also need. Uh, we also not able to make contact with the pollen station. Alex will try to send another message with instructions how to find us. We. Uh, and then the log is damaged. Next log entry, sir. Uh, this is engines compartment. All systems nominal. Warp drive online. Some issues reported with log damaged. Not to use something before arrival. Initiating warp jump. Uh, log with further damage. The next log entry was made contact with. That's all that we can find. Security alert. Battle stations. Shields lost. Engines lost. Gravity of planet. Sending distress call. Recon units captured. Coordinated by radar site on the planet at given coordinates. Destroy. Um, failed. To all remaining ships, retreat and something presumably await orders as it seems the fleet ran into enemy forces at the Titan was destroyed this does not explain the weather material the UCH vessel references but at least the data pad had some coordinates of the radar station where the attack was suspected to be commanded from we should go there but before build some better weapons and an armored weaponized attack vessel consider building a base to get better constructors weapons equipment necessary for this undertaking you should bring a hover vessel with a clone chamber for having a protected area with being revived when being revived Okay, good. Um, that was gold ingots. We can't pick that up, and I haven't got any um, Wi-Fi connector on my goddamn nightshade, have I? Uh, can I jump that high? I don't think I can. Damn it. Okay. Um, what if I was to stand on top of you? Oh. Full jetpack. Go. Yeah. Mario that stuff right up. All right now I can. Pop a load of all oh, laser rounds. Oh, that's tasty. We'll put you down there. I'll have you as well. Need you. Um, don't need a two detectors. That should do fine. I'm gonna put a thousand rounds in there as well. They so take up quite a lot of volume. Right, let's grab that gold before it despawns. Oh, and that Promethean. Damn. Uh, Pentaxid. Okay. <laughs> Allowed to backwards and forwards. Note to self, put Wi-Fi connector on the nightshade and get better at jumping. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode there. But that is first part of the UCH storyline. Oh, God damn it, come on. I made it once. The UCH storyline, that is part one. We've got another part, Ancient Revelations, which we can activate now. Let's go! And then... Um, yeah, we're airborne as well. We've got the nightshade in, which means we're now indestructible, and we basically won. So, good game. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.